Hi everybody, today on Unglued Modeler we're going to be balancing some propellers. Alright everybody, so we're going to be balancing some propellers today. Um, kind of some crummy weather here in Arizona, so we're going to be doing some indoor projects. So uh, me and Mary are going to show you uh, how we balance propellers. I've uh, got a couple different techniques um, and two different propellers we'll show you. Uh, one was from the Buffalo and one is from the Scout uh, that we use for um, kind of gentle flying and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to show you how, how we do it. So I got a little um, list of supplies here you're going to need. Um, obviously you're going to need the propeller that you balance. Um, some hot glue, or sorry, not hot glue, this is just CA, some medium CA. The thick CA would be better, but we um, only have the medium. Uh, hot glue, which is another technique. Um, some scissors with aluminum tape. So this is to add some weight to balance the prop left to right. And the baking soda trick with the CA. This hardens up the CA instantly, if you guys aren't familiar with it. It's really cool. So we'll show you that. Uh, a couple different techniques here. Uh, so let's get into it. So I got this little... Um, Prop balancer, it's just this little shaft. I got it from Hobby King, it was like a dollar. I'll link it in the description below. Um, and then I made these two rods and I put a little notch in it. So this little guy just sits here in the little notches. So there's two things you gotta do when you're balancing a propeller. You gotta balance it horizontally and then vertically. So you always start with the horizontal. So you can see, no matter which position here, this is the heavy side. So if you, even if you bring it up, oh, this is the downside to these homemade rods, but bear with me here. Get back up there. So then now the heavy side's on that side. So you can see this is the heavy blade. So there's two techniques here. You can add a little bit of aluminum foil to this side. Some people sand material off of this side. I'm just gonna add a little bit of aluminum foil, uh, the aluminum tape on the light side. So it doesn't take much. So I just cut like a, maybe about a quarter inch. That's a little more than a quarter inch. Maybe five sixteenths yep. of a strip. And we'll start with that and see where we're gonna get. And so let's get this off. Remember this is the light blade. So you just kinda, I'm gonna stick it kinda right in the middle. Don't wrap it around yet, because you don't know how much weight you need yet. Oh, and put it on the leading edge. You want it going over the leading edge, so the wind will keep it on there, if anything. Look at that. That's actually balanced horizontally pretty good. So basically what you're looking for is just to sit like that. So that actually looks like I guessed it pretty good. Yeah, it's very close. So you're always gonna have a little bit of drift, but as long as it's very, very close, it's acceptable. So now I'm just gonna wrap it around the leading edge here. So let's try it again one more time. Make sure it's balanced horizontally. Looks good. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that's pretty good. Pretty good guess. So anyway, next, what we gotta do is balance the cord, or not the cord, the, uh, the hub here. So the hub is gonna be out of balance also. So way to do that, get it on your, your stand and you put it vertical now. So now, once again, it's gonna fall and do it a couple times and just see which way it goes. So it's going that way, which means this side of the hub is the heavy side. Because it wants to stay at the bottom. Yeah. So this side, it's going that way. It's trying to pull this heavy hub down. So we got the light hub right here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add some CA. And then we don't have any kicker. So if you had some kicker, this would work too. Just spray it real quick with the kicker. But we have the baking soda, so we're going to do that. Uh, hopefully this is going to come out okay. Yeah, look at that. Okay, She's cooperating with me today. So... Let me get the baking soda ready. It's kind of a cool trick. I Kicker is one of those things I always forget to get at the hobby shop, so I, I never seem to have it. But just kind of start slow, put a little glob of 
CA on there. And dab some of this in there. Watch out. So I know it's going to need more than that. So we'll just do a little more here. Right on top of the hub. Before it, Before it drips over. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Gets a little messy, but once you're done, you can kind of brush off the excess. I kind of have an idea of how much it's going to need because I did the other buffalo props. So before the before the buffalo crashed, you saw in the video, that was a smooth flying propeller. <laughs> nice smooth propeller right into the ground. So we got a few drops of CA on there and some baking soda. So let's try the vertical trick again, the vertical balance again. And we should start seeing some progress at least. So it's going, it's still going up to that that's side, slow. but a lot slower. So that's good. Let's do a little more. We're getting there. So it looks a little goofy, but you know, you gotta add some weight. Oop, I hit it with my hand. You gotta add some weight somehow. All right, so let's try this again and see how close we are. Ooh, we're getting really close. Oh yeah, much better. So we can do a little more. And I bet one more application will we'll be pretty close. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. So, should. we should be able to move this into any position. Let's stop it here. Looks good. Let's bring it around. Stop it here. That is perfect. perfect. This is actually a very balanced prop. So, looking great. So, look at this. That CA is nice and hard. That is not going anywhere. That's cray cray. So, remember you gotta balance it horizontally first. You can either add tape to the light side or you can sand a little off the heavy side. Um, just don't sand it off the leading edge. Just sand it kind of on the back and a little on the front. It doesn't take much. And then once you get it balanced horizontally, you go to the vertical and you do the hub. So it's gonna fall to the heavy side and you add your glob of glue on the light side. So this is a nice balanced propeller, ready to go back on the Buffalo for when I, uh, <laughs> once I get it all fixed up and I decide to crash it again, I'm gonna have a nice balanced propeller. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get the Buffalo all fixed up again. I really like that plane, but a little, uh, a little tricky to fly, but anyway, there's a balance prop for the buffalo. Set him aside. Let's uh, do the scout. Let's try the um, hot glue trick. Okay. So let's get the little prop balancing tool back on here. Slips in there, yeah. little conical thing, and it just yeah. kind of self centers. So same process. Let's do the horizontal first. <laughs> This is a, these are, these are gem fans, by the way. I don't know what these are. These are uh, <laughs> APC knockoffs. They're really cheap and really out of balance. They're pretty bad to be honest with you. But these are gem fans. So I'm not surprised that it's perfect out of the box. Yep. So let's, we might not even have anything to do here to be honest. <laughs> be an easy, easy video. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was it. Well, the gem fan seems to be pretty balanced. Yeah. Well, that was an easy one, guys. So sometimes <laughs> you, you encounter a real easy prop like that. But let's say we were in, uh, kind of coming into a situation to where we, have a, we had a heavy hub and it started falling. So kind of the same process. What we were going to do in this video is add a glob of glue the and head. same process just put a little glob of hot glue on there and balance it and see where you're at but we got lucky on this one so real good yeah so either way um just wanted to show you how we balance propellers some require heavy balancing as you can see here big glob of ca yeah. and baking soda on the on the hub this yeah. one required nothing yeah pretty perfect but um it definitely benefits you to balance your propellers if you're spinning it up and you hear this kind of you feel the airplane shaking when you're holding it and you hear kind of a buzzing sound your prop is probably out of balance there's a few reasons why you want to balance them 
Um, your motor is going to last longer. It'll run at cooler temperatures. Um, the bearings in the motor, you'll draw less amps from the battery. It's just better for your airplane and um, you'll probably get you know, better performance aerodynamically with the propeller. If it's, if it's vibrating, it's not cutting through the air like it should. So there's a lot of reasons to balance your propeller. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys how we balance propellers. Um, hopefully that helped. If anybody has any questions on how to do it or if you have any suggestions on how you do it, let us know in the comments. Um, be more than happy to hear from you. But um, yeah, just uh, want to give you a quick video on it. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.